Hello and welcome back to the StarCraft Arcade. As today we'll be jumping into factory ships. It's a uh, an interesting take on the RTS slash MOBA category. We're going to take this a little bit slow because there's a lot of detail to it, but really it's got a pretty simple concept with a lot of, uh, shall we say, uh, verbosity, if you want to call it that. So first off, we, it's, it's, it's kind of a mixed breed between RTS and MOBA. So if you've ever played League of Legends, you'll notice that we have things like this one cruiser here. This is the only thing that I can directly control. Everything else is going to be, well, just the of the standard MOBA type variety. But first, let's go ahead and show off the RTS elements here. Okay, you need to... Okay, go over here, take care of this thing, please. Thank you, don't let it get to my base, thank you. Okay, so this is our base that we need to defend. It has RTS-style elements. If you ever played like a simplified RTS, like maybe Fords or, I don't know, uh, Halo Wars, it has that kind of element to it. This is our base. We have static pads that we can build additional structures on, and we can upgrade other things. Notice here that there are SCVs coming out here to gather minerals. All of this is automated. I can't actually control it myself, but I can upgrading it. I can upgrade it using the minerals available to me. So let me go ahead and do that now. Get some mineral upgrades. There we go. Upgrade all of these things. Nice. There we go. And those will just automatically be created and go out and gather more minerals. And next up, we need to start working on getting some minion spawns. Because in this mode, in this game, there are five different lanes and our base spawns minions. I can't actually control the minions. So let me just go ahead and start the base spawn them. It'll start spawning minions and we'll go out to the front and start attacking whatever they find. Now the goal of this game is to go ahead, march, go forward, clear through all of the bad stuff in the middle and start eliminating our opponents who are on the other side. Just like you have in your League of Legends or Dota, we have this, it's five lanes. I think in Dota usually only, or League of Legends only has three. It matters not. Uh, we have five lanes of travel. I'm going to be going down this lane, clearing it out, sending my minions down there. We have tiny minions that are trying, so they're trying their best. It's not a great try, but they're trying their best. Come on, take it out. There we go. Cast my abilities, start working on these. Nice. Okay, so that'll, that'll handle this decently well. Let me go ahead and invest into some more minion spawns here. You notice there are a couple different minions to choose from, uh, six of them. Uh, they're, they're really not all that, their variety really isn't all that important. They all have similar HP, similar damage values, and they all die to the same thing, so it's really not that big of a deal. Uh, however, I need to invest in my hero unit a little bit. Uh, gas is primarily used to invest into the hero units, whereas minerals is primarily used to invest into the uh, RTS elements. I'm going to purchase one character level for my hero. That'll give him extra HP, some static dam or basic damage output and such. And I'm going to upgrade the repair drone ability, which will heal up my hero unit here. Now we have uh, minions actually making it out there, able to tank some damage for us. Let's go ahead and upgrade them again so we get more minion spawns coming up more quickly here and just keep casting my abilities now these are the long i'm using these kind of long range ship damage abilities uh they clearly don't do that much damage as you can see but they do try to you know keep things keep things going should be able to clear this guy out there we go clear that now and as we expand forward here or proceed forward here i gain the ability to expand into these platforms that we clear out Let's say this platform, for example, once I fully cleared it all out of all the things, I can actually build a Vespine dome here and start preparing to gather some uh, Vespine gas, which is quite good because it's primarily used to upgrade our hero unit. Clear that out and deal with this creature. You'll notice that there are a lot of different Zerg creatures that come to attack our base. Uh, there's really not a whole lot of uh, variety to them in terms of their attack styles and such. Really just the bigger the, the creature, the more dangerous it is. That's all there really is to it. Alright, so now we have a good sized minion wave coming out here, and we should be able to clear all of this this out, and then invest into expanding, which I want to do very, very quickly, so I can build some, specifically a healing drone here, which would be nice. Okay, defense towers, thank you. Clear this out, alright, forward base, and then the, where are you? I want to get the healing station as well as the just ordnance tower which fires at anything that comes nearby 
Very good. Now I can start working on this next area, which should provide me all of the best beam gas I need. You know what? Let's go ahead and invest into the nuclear missile upgrade. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, I'm getting obliterated. I want one defense here. Let me cast all my static defense abilities. There you go. Start launching the nuke. It's a cat. It's a channeled ability that takes forever to land. But uh, when it does, it does a hefty amount of damage. It's not really great at targeting anything that moves, which I suppose is not that big of a surprise. Okay, you go over there and do that. Oh, wow, they've already cleaned off this next segment. I guess that's what happens when you have experienced players on that team. But that's fine, they can handle that. Let's go ahead and keep upgrading this. Cast more abilities this they are already claiming the middle so let me go ahead and explain you notice here there are five lanes of travel we have the gas lanes up here which are super dangerous okay no pull back pull back here wounded healing ability activated and then we have the mineral lanes these side mineral lanes and then the center mineral lane once we've cleared out all the zerg creatures on them you see this one being cleared out then whoever clears it out can capture it which puts one of these defense towers on it the defense towers have healing abilities as well as oh oh whoa Lots of Zerg incoming. That was close. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Alright, that was really close. Oof. Avoid, please. Oh dear. Boss creature. Boss creature. Avoid. Alright. Alright, things are fine. Only a little bit, only a little bit painful this out. I need to get over here and start defending my base from the boss because I don't have any defense turrets here just yet. Cast all the abilities. There we go. Okay, so I need to build a healing tower and we'll just let's just go with one missile tower for now. And that should keep this alive. I'm taking a half bit of damage, but I'm burning it down faster. Okay, here's one uh, just mobile defense tower node. This little expansion tower. Good. Looks like one of the opponents did not survive that wave of Zerg. Uh, not a big surprise. I almost didn't. How is this doing? Uh, it's it's there. Hi. Everything is fine. Okay, so you can see he's he's gotten quite far in the upgrades. He's gotten all of the things. I I am a little bit further behind than he is by by a lot. Let's go ahead and upgrade this. And he's going to help me out here, which is quite nice, actually. Let's go ahead and do this. There we go. I think that's going to be me enough to... Yes, I could purchase one upgrade here. Yeah, I got an upgrade to my, my player level. Convenience. Let's start nuking this area. I'm under attack again. All right, so let me go ahead and invest in here. Uh, my base will be fine. Got those going. Let's increase this. Extra minerals. And almost got it cleared out. So we cleared out a lot of the defenses on it. All we have to do is finish clearing off the, the unit spawners, which is kind of most of it, to be fair. Come on. Oh, dude. So many things. Okay, maximum upgrades on those. He's still trying to claim that. It's probably happening here. The opponents are trying to sneak in. They try to defend it, which is not that big of a surprise, considering it's kind of important to own those asteroids. Because once you own those asteroids, you get basically free access to all those minerals, which is kind of powerful, kind of strong. You don't want to let your opponents have access to that kind of free access thing. It's not, not a good idea if you intend to win the game. You do want to try to contest things. Go ahead and do this. Cast my abilities. Uh, most of the abilities I'm casting right now are the of the like defensive turret types. I have point defense drones, which are basically just static defenses, that are, are temporary static defenses. Right, come on, almost cleared out the big tower. Oh, oh dear. And I'm casting them there because it allows me to uh, well stay in place while I channel the nuclear launch ability without dying because that would not be great if I died while trying to cast a clear launch it's not fun for not fun for me in particular 
Okay, so let's go ahead and keep upgrading ourselves here. Get some more metal upgrades. And once I fully clear this out, then I can actually start mining from these refineries. Looks like we got a drop pod coming in here. Okay, so what I want to do is invest into a hive mine emulator and start capturing these zerg from my own. And start using them as defensive towers, which is quite, quite good. Alright, almost got this. Get rid of this one, because this one actually shoots back as well as spawning things. I want to get rid of this. There we go. Use all those abilities. Uh, what I just did there is an EMP wave. It basically stuns everything nearby, so the things that are attacking me get uh, stunned temporarily, which is quite good. It's fine. Is he going for the middle? It looks like... Ah, my minions are going for the middle. So let me go ahead and redirect the minions to stop going for the middle, please. Uh, I want you guys to go... Well, first off, attack this player by going through this side. Through this mineral side. That way I don't try to go through the middle, because the middle's got kind of a lot of things on it. And it's um, a little bit much for me to attempt to do right now. I am not, not quite experienced enough at the game in order to to meaningfully assault this giant uh, mess of Zerg death. And now, let me start investing into mining the gas here. I don't have it quite cleared out yet, but if I can start getting the miners going that way, that would be great. Alright, next up I want to start investing into the Banshee-type minion, because it's the next in line, and that's really about it. More Zerg all over the place. I clear this out. Good. All right. Very good. That'll handle that. Now, next up, I want to clear out this guy so I can actually make it into the asteroid and begin claiming it for myself. That'd be great. Uh, I'm getting a warning that there's a boss creature coming to my base. Uh, let's go ahead and go ahead and I've got a few seconds left before it arrives. Let's just sit right back here and prepare for it to arrive. Start investing into a little bit more income here. Yeah, we have max SCVs, max mineral conveyor, max alternate, uh, max well not max minerals, like half of mineral right now. Okay. Got that one there, I want to get rid of that one because that one's a suicide unit and explodes. Looks like my teammate is having some trouble up there, the opponents are contesting, they actually managed to blow it up. My the teammate did win that battle, he destroyed the opponent. Uh, but he did lose the base up there, so he's got to rebuild it, which is annoying, but not as not as troublesome as actually, a, well, losing everything. I think I need to invest into a little bit more defenses here. Let me go ahead and get another healing tower. There we go. My goodness, I it has so much HP. I don't do nearly enough damage. I'm not going to be able to survive that another attack if I don't upgrade my defenses here. Alright, so you go over here. Uh, we are actually successfully mining, which is good, and the minions are attacking this tower because it's in the middle of the lane, which is not a big surprise because that's how the game is designed. Go ahead and do this. Let's get another turret here soon. But for now... Oh, uh, so these flying asteroids hold minerals inside of them. If I break the flying asteroid like so, it will break into minerals, which is good for me. Very good for me. How are you doing? I uh, just claim more Zerg features from my army. Let's here. Very good. I desperately want these things gone because they spawn Scourge and that makes me angry. Go away, please. Cast Healing Drone. I don't really want to nuke here because the Scourge are coming in. If something happens like more Scourge, I want to be able to move. And so I don't, you know, straight up just die. So my minions are coming in. Uh, I want to upgrade the maximum minion counts because I've got a lot of them spawning now. And... Uh, it looks like someone's complaining about getting further ahead. No, I, I doubt it's very much... I, I very much so doubt it's cheats. I've not seen any any cheats in this game yet, which is good. Because uh, some sometimes there are cheats in some of these mini games. But no, I think it's just uh, he's had a lot more experience than any of us here. I, I've noticed that there are a few new players in the lobby, which is not a surprise. It seems this game's gotten some more popularity recently, which is kind of cool, actually. I suspect someone 
Someone has played it on stream. Cough, cough. Let's go ahead and capture this. So now that we've cleared all this out, the minions came in here and cleared it out. Uh, I can just start mining this here. Uh, this is still here, so I'm going to have to get rid of that before I can really start mining it. But uh, I can get a lot of mineral value out of it. And I can destroy these metal geodes, which just give me straight income. Which is good. Upgrade the banshees, so now I'm maxed on that. And now I can start getting additional mineral upgrades. Looks like the opponent and the teammate up there is having a real rough time with all that. Yep. Yep, the uh, opponents are sending a lot of things this way, but we own this asteroid now, so it's pretty safe to just start taking all this out. I want to make this go away in particular. Let's just do this. Alright, I think I can just kind of tank it now. Because I have enough defense nodes stacked up over here. How's this going? More Zerg committed capture? Yes. Gone. Getting it. So many minerals to mine. Alright, let's upgrade the gas income and then the mineral income as well. I have a couple of miners that are attempting to go over that, which is not a big surprise there. They just go for the nearest minerals they can find. Uh, but we're going to have to clear out that middle if we intend to actually mine on it, because otherwise it's just not going to work. Ooh. Teammates having a... Oh, he's getting double teamed over there. Well, that's not great. The moment I clear this out, I should be able to... Come on. Oh, dear. My teammate lost to the Zerg. Oh, dear. That's not great. All right, so now we should have free reign to mine all of this without too much of a concern. Very good. I don't. I really don't want to be taking that. So let's just go ahead and start working down the next lane here. So instead of going down this lane, because now we own this, and our our, our miners are going to be free to do all the things there. Is he okay over there? Uh, not really. Uh, so I'm going to go on the offensive while the teammate is just quote unquote distracting over there. Uh, let's do this. Let's tell my miners, my my dudes, to go into this fifth lane bottom one here and these guys will start going down the gas lane now the gas lane is where we get most of our gas which i've been neglecting because i've been focusing more on the mineral lanes for now which i think is the, is the correct option i think but let's start working toward gas and with that we'll be able to well invest into um uh upgrades to my ship which i think is going to be the difference here uh, that's the wrong button still trying to learn all the hotkeys here let's go this, make this go away, because it's in the way. As my minions make our way this way, and gas, gas is going passively. I'm gonna upgrade this. How's teammate doing? Uh, not great. It looks like he's getting overrun. Mm, that's a lot. Okay. All right, let's start working our way this way, then, shall we? Maybe take out a couple asteroids along the way. Let's get rid of this guy. He's made out of the Vespian gas. Uh, so this Vespian gas here, the green stuff, uh-oh. Oh dear. That's a world boss. They're big, but they also appear to be very distracted by swarms of my minions. I'm going to take advantage of that to try to DPS it down. How are you guys doing over here? There's another boss unit over here. Okay, so I'm going to collect its gas drops. Let's nuke that real quick. There we go, and that should give me enough gas to upgrade once again. And as I boost my way over here, this is going to hurt my base significantly. But I think we'll survive. Yeah, we just have too many minions right now for it to... I mean, if we, we invest so heavily into our minions, we can just kind of walk through it. So I got a couple upgrades to... I just upgraded my... Ah, there we go. So I upgraded my hero unit, got two additional levels, player levels. So that'll give me access to new things and stuff. But I don't have too much upgrades to my sp specific abilities. I really haven't upgraded my sp uh, specific abilities at all. I'm just looking to get additional stats right now. Which I think is the appropriate play, but I'm not sure. Oh, there's some more gas over here. I kind of want to get this real quick. Uh, no, no. Let's just focus on going down the gas lane, because that's going to have a higher value. Let's get you. Increase my army by one mutilisk. You guys doing? Did I lose my repair station over here? I did lose my repair station over here. Let's go ahead and purchase the repair station real quick. Thank you. Alright, so my minions are going over here, clearing all this out, which is helping me a lot. 
So I should be able to go over here. Are they just going to kill off this? Oh, no, they've, they've got a little bit of a ways left before they, they can actually kill off that, uh, that boss. Let's go grab this guy real quick. Yeah, I don't want to stay in the gas too long because it hurts. It actually has damage. The damage zone. Do I have enough to upgrade once again? I do. Nice. So that'll give me the next ship. And I am actually one away from max upgrades. Or max level. And then I'll be able to invest into more abilities and stuff. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's get this. How's this going? Mini edges scissor pushing. No big deal. Clear this out. Grab this guy. Is that enough? That's enough to retrofit. So I'm now the maximum level. Maximum player level. How's he doing? A teammate is okay. Okay, world boss destroyed. I'm taking some damage, but now we're pushing alongside with my minions. Let me go ahead and cast healing ability here. Uh, upgrade you guys a little bit more. And upgrade my player abilities. Let's go ahead and get additional defense strikes. No, you. So now we're pushing toward the enemy players here. And we're actually able to do some damage to them. So I'm going to go ahead and start casting all of my abilities out here. I don't have a whole lot of upgrades to them, so these are like the level 1 versions. But with this many minions here, he's going to have a hard time defending this. In fact, I think I think we've just upgraded a minion so much that we just eliminated the player. How are you doing over here? Base under attack. Let's capture some more Zerg. Add them to, add them to the army. And then start working toward the next minion. What? I don't. I don't think. I don't think that's how that works. How's he doing? He's under attack. All oh, this is fine. All right. So we have another opponent here. Oh dear. Yeah. I don't have minions with me anymore because they've all been taken out. Let's make sure that they're going to the correct team or correct opponent. There we go. So now they will be going this way. Base is under attack by a lot of Zerg. Uh, okay. So he's got a healing tower here. I want to make it go away. Uh, before it, you know, heals everything. Teammates got our teammates got a lot of Zerg there as well. Okay, you stop healing, please. Uh, he's not very high level at all. Uh, however, I cannot sustain that kind of damage. So let's try to try to not take that kind of damage. I don't have minion support right now, so I need to I need to kind of back off here and heal up. Let the minions prepare themselves to come in. One of the problems with going through this boss side is the bosses respawn and then I have to worry about the bosses doing damage. Uh, let's start upgrading myself a bit more. I want some sprints. This is the sprint button, basically. I also want these guys. Let's upgrade that to max, upgrade this to max. I have not been spending my resources, like, at all. That's a problem. Is that going? Oh, that's going to spawn more gas. I'm going to need to go manually collect that. I have some more defense nodes here. Those going. No, they're attacking my miners. That's illegal. All right, let's uh, let's get a missile turret here. Guess it clearly we need it. Cause oh my lord, that's so many zerg. All right, we're getting we're getting minions coming in here now. Oh, my teammates coming in from the other side of the minions. I think we're just going to just going to finish them off here. I have got a lot of defense nodes, which is good. There we go. He is not very high level. Remember, every time you die, you lose a level, so that's not... He's probably just died a lot. This healing tower is so strong. The defense node. Oh, he's got so many things. He's got so many defenses. I think I could just count it. Oh, she's got him! Wait, did I get him? My teammate got him. Oh, my teammate just came in the front with an army and just slaughtered him. Alright, well, that's gonna be it for this one. Welcome to Factory Ships, boys. Hope you guys enjoyed, because we'll be playing some more of this. You know? I'll see you guys later.